viewers, ISRO today has set a massive record, not one, but three. How do I know this? Because I spoke to the ISRO chairman on a great day for the space agency. Let's go straight across to that conversation. Viewers, in a historic mission, ISRO's heaviest rocket, the LVM-3M6, successfully placed a U.S. communications satellite into orbit. The LVM-3M6, also known as the Bahubali, carried the communications satellites as part of a commercial deal between New Space India Limited and U.S.-based AST Space Mobile. The Bluebird Block 2 mission is part of a global low-Earth orbit constellation to provide direct to mobile connectivity through the satellite. Now, viewers, this is a very successful liftoff, and this places us, again, in a very unique orbit of nations that are conducting these kinds of exercises on a commercial basis. And uh, also, of course, viewers, in this rarefied water, orbit, water, water, water. what is very crucial, let's not forget, is the fact that it is representative of, at a time such as this, when India-US ties are sort of stumbling a little bit, a collaborative effort. And we want to go straight across to Mr. V. Narayanan, ISRO chairman, for more on this. This is a big day for you, sir. So congratulations, first off. I want to ask you a simple question. A lot is being made of this. Why? Can you break it down for our viewers? Um, this, um, this is the ninth uh, launch of LVM-3 vehicle. We are happy to inform that the ninth con successive, successful launch of LVM-3 vehicle, point number one. Hmm. All the launch vehicles of LVM-3, whatever launched till today, is successful. Second thing is, this rocket has lifted the heaviest satellite from Indian soil. Uh, close to 6,000 kg heaviest satellite. And this is a commercial satellite made by one of the AST companies in USA, and we are launching, and we have successfully launched. Next point is the orbit, what we are targeted was 520 kilometer circular orbit, plus minus 15 kilometer dispersion is allowed, but we have injected within two kilometers dispersion we have injected. Uh, such a perfect thing, is done by very few launch vehicles, and we are one among them standing tall on achieving precise injection of the orbit. And uh, uh, this is the Bakubali rocket. Uh, you all know, uh, 1920, uh, I mean, 1963, November 21st, uh, first a tiny rocket was lifted off from Indian soil. And that tiny rocket was given by USA. Hmm. And 1st August 1975, we demonstrated first time mass communication from satellite technology, keeping 2,400 television sets in 2,400 villages of India in six states. And a 86 satellite uh, launched by America, they, from that we got the signal we, and we demonstrated mass communication. From that humble beginning yeah. today, under the guidance and visionary leadership of Honorable Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi ji, we have done a marvelous job. The uh, space department has done a great job, and we have launched a, a communication satellite made in USA on commercial basis using our Bakubali rocket. That to perfectly injecting in the required orbit. You know, sir, for the first time, actually, let me be honest with you, even my hands were sweating. So much riding, actually, on this particular mission. But let me ask you, sir, you know, at one time you're saying that the U.S. was sort of, you know, uh, helping us. And now the U.S. is actually, we are launching the United States in a manner of speaking, isn't it, sir? Yes, at one point of time, they were supporting us in a tiny way. And today we are launching heavy satellites of USA on a commercial basis. Uh, it's a proud moment for every citizen of Bharat. So, so what is the technology that is driving this uh, launch vehicle? So, say the technology. If I look at the technology, say basically, you know, one of the system is the propulsion systems, 
and uh, there are two solid propulsion system you are having a core liquid stage and upper stage is the cryogenic stage which has to give almost 50 percent of the uh, energy and velocity required for placing the satellite in the required orbit that's a totally all the systems are indigenously developed but the cryogenic mm. technology you know it was a technology denied to india yes in the early 80s mm. and today uh, we are very happy mm. that we have totally developed from scratch and we have inducted in this and I was also so lucky to be the project director of that program when it was successfully inducted uh, um, uh, in the initial phase. It's interest to fly it in 28 months against the world record minimum time of 34 months we have succeeded. Wow. And a stage level test using 5000 kg of liquid hydrogen we had to do. And uh, thanks to then chairman Kiran Kumar ji and I was the project director and we have done a lot of digital simulation and we have made a third world record accomplishing the stage test in 34 days wow, against sir. the world minimum time of 68 days and average time of 68 months in a stage level test. Thereby, the technology development time, it is not that just like that we developed the technology, we also developed the technology making world records. And that is one. And uh, another thing is, when you talk about a launch vehicle, it is not only propulsion, it's a host of technologies, including avionics and navigation, guidance control and uh, structure, so many technologies and it's a technology intensive mission and today uh, every Indian can be proud of this uh, type of great accomplishment or achievement uh, made by Indians in India. So, uh, you know, this is phenomenal. I, I didn't even know that you had set these three records. So thank you for sharing this with us. This is amazing, sir. And you're so modest in any case. but. I want to ask you because the Prime Minister has, of course, also tweeted and congratulates. It's a big year, isn't it, for India? We're also setting milestones for space exploration. Talk a little bit about how this particular uh, launch helps in that endeavor. No, you, you know, this Mar 3 rocket was the one which was used for Chandrayaan 2, Chandrayaan 3, sure. and earlier two commercial missions we have done hmm. uh, One Web India 1 and One Web India 2. This is the third full commercial mission of uh, the Mark 3 vehicle. Of course, still to today, we have placed 434 satellites of 34 countries using our launches. But this is the third full commercial mission of launch Mark 3 vehicle. Again, you all know, maybe knowing, uh, this is the vehicle which is earmarked for taking Gaganya 3 to space for as part of our Gaganyan program. Right. And when the ninth vehicle is uh, consecutively success, that put us in a very comfortable state to go for the Gaganyan program using this rocket. Let me ask you finally, sir, what's the next mission that the ISRO is now planning for in the months ahead? What's immediately on hand? You no, know, this year, 2026, under the direction, guideline and vision of Honorable Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi ji, we have targeted a lot of important missions. Yep. One is uncrewed missions of uh, Gaganyan, uncrewed mission. You know, 2027, we are going for crewed mission. Before the three uncrewed missions we have to do, at least two uncrewed missions we are targeting uh, next year. Then and the space sector reform is announced by government of India. So we have given our PSLV rocket to private industries. And uh, the first rocket has come out and we are going to have that mission. And uh, Honorable Prime Minister has rolled out the space sector reform. So the, the startup companies are making orbital uh, the rockets for orbital mission. We are hand-holding. We are some 30 technologies. We are going to work on that. And uh, the Chandrayaan-3, Chandrayaan-4, Chandrayaan-5, already government of India has approved those uh, missions. Uh, we are accelerating all the approved uh, programs in a fast-track mode this year. Hmm. So, the, the year is uh, really a uh, lot of activities in the hand. We used to tell in uh, ISRO, the reward for uh, hard work is more work. <laughs> and when you make this type of accomplishment, and I have also told my colleagues, uh, the government of India has given us a lot of opportunity to perform, uh, to serve the common man of our country, so we have to perform. So, we are accelerating all our activities. Uh, towards that, uh, achieving the required missions uh, for towards the Vixit Bar 2047 program of India. Wow, sir. Wow. What, what spirit? Reward for hard work is more work. And that's what they want. The ISRO wants more work. Thank you so much, sir. And may you have 
a great new year and a great year ahead. I know big things are expected and I'm sure, sir, with your work ethic, dedication and, of course, modesty, we will definitely soar into higher orbits. Thank you so much for speaking to me.